In the news this week, mothers of children with Down syndrome powerfully speak out on abortion, medical cannabis is challenged, and the Institute prepares resources for the upcoming general election. Hello. Mothers have powerfully spoken out about the pressure they face to abort their children with Down syndrome. A report by Positive About Down Syndrome showed that almost half of mothers were offered an abortion, despite already saying they wanted to choose life. Currently, it is legal in Great Britain to abort up to birth if doctors believe the baby will be born with a disability. The group released a video showcasing some of the moving stories. They made it really, really, really clear that if I changed my mind on the morning of the induction to let them know because it wasn't too late, until the baby had started travelling down the birth canal, I could still terminate. After just being told that I was being induced the following morning, um, I was then kind of being told I still had options um, to whether I was going to have my baby or not. And then also that if she was born not breathing or struggling to breathe, that they were willing to not help my baby. Um, they were willing to just leave her. Evidence that medical cannabis helps people with mental health conditions is almost non-existent, a major review has found. Analyzing 42 studies for depression, 31 for anxiety, and others for ADHD, PTSD, Tourette's and psychosis, the researchers considered a total of 3,000 people. They concluded that there is scarce evidence to suggest that cannabinoids improve depressive disorders and symptoms. A group of parents is campaigning against what they call the state-sponsored sterilization of transgender children. Almost all of the families in the group have a child who's suddenly identified as transgender. Some of the children are autistic, almost all are girls, and most decided they were transgender after talking to people online about gender identity. The group says it will lobby the government and the NHS against the affirmation model of rushing children into life-altering treatments. One father said his daughter was not transitioning, but was being transitioned by LGBT activists and medical professionals and called for a different approach. If the mind is telling you the body is wrong, fix the mind, not the body. And finally, on the 12th of December, the country will go to the polls in a general election. The Christian Institute is already working on resources to help inform your vote. So look out for them in the coming weeks. And follow us on social media using the hashtag MyChristianVote as we shine a light on the party's stances on important issues. The Bible commands us to pray for those in authority, so as politicians across the land seek our votes, let's use this opportunity to pray for godly leaders. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.